Welcome to the Tarrant County Mega Search. Today I'm going to show you how to do a more advanced search on the Tarrant County Mega Search. In the box it asks you to enter criteria such as grantor, grantee name, subdivision, or document type, etc. Um, you could enter name, subdivision, dress, anything along those lines. Today I'm going to enter in an address and I'm going to tell it to search. Based on that address, I did receive 19 matches on that address, so I have actually 19 documents that actually pertain that address. Now I'm going to go back to the home, and I'm also going to perform a different type of advanced search by simply clicking on the advanced button and going ahead and putting in the party name. So I'm going to put in Hughes, and as I start to put in a last name or type additionally, we have a drop down that's coming up. Um, if that is your selection, you can click on it, it'll immediately take you to that document. Again, you can add that to the cart. I can go back to home. I'm going to put in my address again, and I'm simply going to tell it to search. Again, it is bringing up documents related to my search criteria. I'm going to go ahead and add this to my document as well. Now, um, there are other types of filtering of the documents that can be done. On the left, we can filter by document type, say recorded year, or the grantor, or the specific grantee, or maybe the edition of the document. This is going to help filter and narrow your results. So in this case, I'm going to pick the year 2000, which says that I'm going to get two different documents that match this criteria, making this a more advanced type search. Again, I'm going to choose my document and add it to the card. Now I'm going to go back to the home screen, and again, I'm going to click on Advanced um, and go ahead and type in a subdivision and tell it to search. Then what, if anything, comes back um, that will actually match based on that subdivision. Again, you have the ability to filter down and narrow the results based on the different criteria here in the filters on the left. Again, finding what you want. Of course, you can review the thumbnails, the grantors, the grantees. Um, you can also see this in expanded view, just like you could in a simple search. Again, we'll add the documents to cart and we are now ready to view our cart. Up at the top it always tells us what we have in the cart and how many items. We can click on the cart and once again review what we've sent um, to the cart. Like before, we can remove a line entry if that's not what we want. We can change something from certified to non-certified. Please notice that it does also change the price when I change it from a certified copy to a non-certified. If these are the documents you wish to purchase, um, you will need to go ahead and click on pay. From here the Tarrant County Clerk Mega Search Documents Purchase window will come up. Here you will need to enter an email address and any pertinent card information. You must enter the email address as that's how the documents will be returned to you is via email. Once you have entered your pertinent information it will take you to a processing screen and then to the order detail screen. Again this is revisiting what you have just purchased along with the pricing and the status of each document. Now there is a document that's down ready to download and there are three that are pending certification. Now you will also get an email generated from this. I've gone to my email and I do in fact have an email here. As I click on the email I will see that again that I have a document that's ready to download and I have pending documents along with the pricing information. Um, if you like, you can get detailed order information. By clicking this link, we'll just take you back to the order detail page. Whether you do from this page or from your email, you can download the document. And from here, you will be able to print it, save it, whatever it is you would like to do. Now, um, you can also, from here, click on your pending certification. And again, you can visit and view the document, but the document has not been certified yet. Okay, I'm going to go back and check our email and see if the documents are now certified. I have received my second email and it tells me now the documents in fact have been certified and again they're ready to download. Again, I can click on the document link and we'll see that the document's there and we will see that it is in fact certified. Now, at the top of the document, there is a verification key. 
This verification key is very important and can be used when presenting, say, a document to your attorney or another party, and they need to, in fact, verify um, that these documents, it is, in fact, a certified copy. We can come back to the Tarrant County Super Search, click on the Verify link, and then in the enter verification key, they would enter the key that's presented on the top of your document. When we click find, it now shows us that in fact the document was certified. Of course, it's, it's ready to be downloaded again, but it has in fact been certified. This includes, concludes your Tarrant County Mega Search Advanced Search. Thank you.